So uh, today at the Vermont Institute of Natural Science, we are treating a double-crested cormorant that came in about a week ago with head trauma and internal bleeding. We believe the cormorant was struck by a car. He was found in the middle of the road. Um, and right now, um, Jessamy is getting the cormorant out of his enclosure. And Sarah is going to be tube feeding the cormorant a uh, slurry of fish. Um, we basically blended a salmon in a blender, and uh, we're going to be tubing that down his throat. Um, and it takes three people to actually handle this guy because um, getting the fish slurry through the syringe into uh, his body is kind of a challenge because it's very thick. So, are you standing on his sides too? Is he standing on his side? Yeah. Okay. He right out of <laughs> so, Jasmine's going to hold him just a little bit lower, and I'm going to be holding open his beak for Sarah, who's going to be tubing him. And we're still treating him for internal bleeding. Um, we're using vitamin K injections twice a day to help combat the internal bleeding. Uh, but he's just still too out of it to eat on his own, which is why we're having to tube him. If we weren't tubing him, he could possibly die of starvation. So it's really important that we're doing this. And as you can see, it's really hard. He's very um, wiggly and he struggles against the, the syringe um, going into his mouth, which is understandable. Um, and he's got a really long neck, as you can see, which is great for gulping down fish. And we like to keep that nice and straight uh, while he's getting tubes, so the tube can go naturally down his throat. So he just got his meal of fish slurry. And uh, Sarah's going to give him an injection of vitamin K. You can hold the leg or anything? It's okay. Go ahead. The Vermont Institute of Natural Science is a not for profit with the mission of motivating individuals and communities to care for the environment through education, research, and avian wildlife rehabilitation. And this cormorant is one of more than 400 birds that Vince has treated so far this year, and he's still in the rehab process, so he's still got a ways to go, so we'll see how he does. I'm Megan from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. What you have just seen is one example of the more than 400 birds that Vince cares for each year. As a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, we depend on your support to provide the medical treatment these birds require to get them healthy and back into the wild. In addition to our on-site avian rehabilitation facility, the Vince Nature Center in Queechee, Vermont proudly displays an impressive collection of live raptors, songbirds, and other animals for you to see up close. With 47 acres of diverse natural habitat, the Vins Nature Center offers a host of educational programs and special events enjoyable for people of all ages. For the latest information on the birds in our care, a list of our current Nature Center programs, outreach opportunities, and events, or to contribute to Vins so that we can continue our important work, please visit our website at vinsweb.org or call 802 359-5000 for more information.